guys, welcome back to my channel. So today is an exciting video. I am reviewing and showing you all the bits that I got and kind of how I use the Fenty makeup line by Rihanna. I feel like this has been such an anticipated makeup line. She really, really has tried and I feel like achieved in accommodating for everyone. I managed to get a few bits in the collection. I got the foundation, I got a single matte skin stick, and I got a trio of the skin sticks, which includes a shimmer and two mattes as well. I also got the Trophy Wife Kilowatt Highlighter, which I feel like has been the biggest rave of them all. I also got one of the highlighting duos, and I got the lip topper as well. Now, that isn't the full collection. There was powder, which I can't believe I didn't get. I was in such a rush, I didn't really realise that she did it. But I definitely want to get my hands on that in the future. But yes, she has a powder, there was blotting papers, there was brushes, there was also other shades of the highlighters and the highlighter duos. There is 40, I think 40, there might be more, but I feel like 40 rings a bell, shades of the photo filter foundation, ranging from literally people with white skin, so that would be people that, that have albino skin. She has accommodated for them and they she has accommodated for extremely dark skin as well and literally like every colour and undertone in between. So Props to Rihanna for putting the time and effort into doing that. I feel like that's what's been lacking and that's what has drawn so, so, so much hype around her makeup because everyone is going to be able to wear this. And also loads of shades of the matte skin sticks and the shimmer skin sticks and the trios. I've left the names and the shades of everything that I have used down below and I also do mention them in the video too. So if you think you have a similar skin tone to me and a similar skin type, I have normal to dry skin. Throughout this video, I'm going to show you the tips and tricks that I have personally used to to make the most of these products, make them work the best on my skin, and all that good stuff. So this isn't a first impressions video because like I said, I did want to educate myself before in the best ways to use these products. I wanted to be able to give my tips and tricks in ways to make the most of them. I already had high hopes for them, but there are some little tweaks that I've used in this video to make them work even better. So if you like the sound of this video and the look of this makeup, then definitely make sure to give it a thumbs up already and hit that subscribe button for more videos in the future. But Without further ado, if you'd like to see how I achieved this makeup look, the products in action, and my tips on how to use them, then please keep watching. Okay, so let's go ahead and start the makeup tutorial side of things, and obviously the full demonstration. So she doesn't have any eye products yet. So I've already done my eyebrows and my eye makeup, and we can move straight onto skin. Now, as I said earlier, there is a primer in the collection, but I didn't pick that up, just because I read the description, and it is definitely more of like a matte primer. And I just know personally, as as I have normal to dry skin, I just wouldn't get much use out of that primer, like already a matte foundation is a lot for my skin and like I don't want to feel too too uncomfortable. So I have gone ahead and primed my skin how I usually do. You can check back on my last video because I do show it there and like my skincare and stuff. So let's go ahead and start with foundation. So this is the photo filter foundation and when I tried this yesterday, oh my god. So first of all I did a swatch on my hand and at first I did think like for me right now I am quite tanned when I swatched it on my hand I thought mm, this looks a tiny 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 bit light but I think I'm going to be able to get away with it if I bronze up my skin etc this is before that I'd read anywhere that apparently it oxidizes a little bit so I got the shade 290 and I'm so glad that I did because like I said it's the tiniest bit too light for me so but when it goes onto my skin it deepens slightly and it's the perfect color I literally completely guessed but I know on like trend mood Instagram and stuff they did a load of swatches and on the Harvey Nichols website there is kind of like a color matching tool I did completely guess but I have always been quite good at trying to guess my shade so if you think you are like me for reference I'm like an NC 35 in MAC, shade sort of 6, 6.5 in Giorgio Armani Luminous Sil, a sand colour in the Too Faced Born This Way, like that sort of colour. So this does claim to be a matte foundation and honestly it is, as you'll see when I apply it, the most gorgeous coverage, matte finish. If you have oily skin I feel like you should definitely, definitely check out this foundation. So the way that I like to apply it is I do a couple of pumps on either side of my face. As you can already see that already looks like way too light and to achieve like the maximum coverage I always like to stipple the product in with a brush first and what I will say is you kind of need to work quite quickly with this product because it's a matte finish therefore it is quite dry and you can see that was just like two pumps and like my full face is covered I look like green right now but I swear this color does match me you would have seen the picture on my Instagram yesterday. 
But yeah, you also want to work quickly because it does oxidize. And if you don't actually know what oxidize means, when people say a product oxidizes, it means that once it's exposed to like the air and oxygen and all that kind of stuff, the color darkens like on your skin. But I'm just gonna make sure I'm blending that down my neck and into my ears. So I've just kind of stippled that into my skin and I'm gonna zoom you in and show you what the coverage and the finish of this looks like. Bear in mind, like I said, I have primed my skin exactly how I did it in my previous video, like all the skincare, which actually involves mixing a serum and a, a liquid bronze illuminator underneath my skin and also using quite a hydrating primer. But yeah, I'm just gonna zoom you in now before I stipple it in with a beauty blender and just show you what it looks like when it's applied with a brush. So this is called a photo filter foundation and I have to say when I posted my picture on my Instagram yesterday I like didn't even need to touch it up at all. This foundation is no joke she like this is like Photoshop in a bottle. I'm not even kidding. And I have a little bit of like a like luminosity just coming through. That I believe is just going to be from like my skincare because this does claim to be a matte foundation. But as you can see, wait, hold on. I'm going to zoom you back out. I'm going to kind of keep it at this kind of angle. As you can see, it, it is starting to darken up on my skin and match me a lot better. So for that reason, I recommend maybe going one shade above the shade that you think you are. I was convinced I'd got the shade 300. So when 290 arrived, I was a bit like, damn it. But now I'm so happy that I did that because yeah, like I said, this does darken up slightly and probably it drops at least one shade. Like I said, I'm now just going to go ahead in and kind of press the foundation into my skin with a damp beauty blender. This is just going to absorb any excess product and also just give me a really just smooth finish. Okay, so that is all pressed into my skin. So again, I'm just going to do a close up and show you this foundation because it is no joke, guys. This is like airbrushness in a bottle. I mean... Where are the flaws? Like, where? Do you know what I mean? This is... Amaze. Okay, so moving on to kind of concealer, cream bronzing, all that kind of stuff. So like I showed you earlier, I picked up one of the matte skin sticks in French vanilla and I plan to use this as a concealer. But you can buy all of these like individually or they do come as trios. And I did get the tan trio, I think, which comes with one of the matte skin sticks in caramel, a matte skin stick in truffle, which I'm gonna use for contour, and a shimmer skin stick in rum, which which is like a bronze shimmery color. So when it comes to contouring, I am gonna be mixing these two together and I am gonna take the French vanilla shade underneath my eyes as a concealer. Now, because these are a matte finish at first, when I did kind of like one side of my face, cause this is how I was testing it yesterday, they were not like hard to blend, but like I said, with matte products, you do have to work quite quickly. So I found a way to kind of make these work better if you have a normal to dry skin like me. So I apply these where I want them to be. So this French vanilla shade is definitely more of like the yellow undertone, which is what I love in like my under eye concealer. And the coverage of these is buildable. So at first it's kind of like a like low to medium coverage and then you can like apply layers with these. So that's my kind of concealer done. And what I am gonna do is, is take a hydrating facial spray. So this is a coconut milky mist facial mist from Too Cool For School, I have used them before. And what I am gonna do is just spray my skin with it and then blend it out with a beauty blender. And what this is gonna do is kind of add hydration to that product and make it a lot easier to blend. So once I've done that, like I said, I'm gonna go with my damp beauty blender and blend this out. And like I said, this just adds moisture back into the skin, but also to the product and make it just a lot easier to blend, but without ruining your makeup because it is a facial, like, what is it? This spray in particular claims to hydrate and refreshes makeup. So that's exactly what we want it to do. I don't want to use a setting spray. That's not the product that I'm after at this point. I'm not ready to set my makeup. I just want to rehydrate it, give it some life back and just make it easier to blend out. But if you have oily skin, I feel like the natural oils of your skin will still come through these products and will might make it, you might not need to add a facial spray to be able to blend it out. Just for me, because like I say, I have normal to dry skin. This is how I find to get the kind of best use out of that product. If I had done like a first impression video and just gone straight in with that and tried to blend it out, I would have said like, that's quite dry. Like, I don't know what's going on there. It is quite dry, but it's dry, but it's workable. You can 
can use other products to make it work like the Anastasia Beverly Hills cream contour kits on their own really dry and they don't do anything add a bit of oil amazing that was just like a tip it's like a makeup artist tip to just get the best out of their products okay so like I said I'm gonna take the two shades truffle and rum truffle is a matte shade rum is a shimmer shade now this is a little bit dark for me but mixed with the rum I do get like a nice warmth so I'm just gonna apply this to obviously all the places that I want to hollow so that's my cheekbone and then just along my jawline and then I'm gonna take the rum shade which is the shimmery shade and kind of use this along my forehead and above that color because I really want like a really bronzy shimmery skin look today and that darker shade all above here just really is like a bit too dark for me so this is just gonna give me a really nice shimmery bronze you guys know I love a shimmery bronze so this is definitely a shade that I wanted to pick up and then I've used the matte one to contour like around here Again, I'm gonna go in with that facial spray. The spritz of this one in particular, almost just like, yeah, it's a mist. It's not like a proper, what spray? Like the Urban Decay setting sprays, they give you a proper of like product on your face and it like obviously sucks into your skin, makes your makeup last. That's what that's perfect for. This is literally a mist. So it just applies like a light, I don't know, like coat, like mist. So I don't mind going in with this again. My face isn't getting too wet, if that makes sense. I'm really loving this to help blend out my products. To blend them out, I am going to be taking a duo fibre stippling brush and probably going in afterwards with my beauty blender because beauty blenders do the most. So now, like I said, I'm just going to blend backwards. What I really like about these kind of matchstick shades, like the matte ones for like the contour, is she did a lot of warm tones and a lot of cool tones. So you can use the matte shades as like a bronzer around, but also there's cool tone ones that you can kind of contour with. I think the slightly paler shade range offered slightly cooler tones. So as you can see with like the added moisture from the spray, these are a lot easier to blend out. and the color of them I feel is really subtle it's not too warm when I first saw that match the dark matte shade I thought like I really went too dark there but when they blend into the skin into the other products and combine all together I think for me these have been really kind of like good color choices so once I've like initially blended all of that out like I said I, I'm just gonna go in with my beauty blender and make sure there's no excess product on the skin everything really is blended out okay so I have blended everything out I am gonna zoom you in again I have not set anything with powder yet I just want to zoom you in and show you the finish of everything that's been placed on my face so foundation vanilla French vanilla matchstick as concealer the truffle matte skin stick and the rum shimmer skin stick so I applied the rum shimmer skin stick to my forehead as you can see I've got like a really subtle glow and warmth going on I applied the matte skin stick in truffle here and also used a bit of rum to blend on either side and obviously used the matte shimmer the matte skin stick on my chin area as well so this is also again without any powder now I probably could get away without wearing powder today but I'm looking at the weather it's pretty sunny and I know I'm about to be running around a lot after this so I am gonna go ahead and set my face with powder I'm just gonna go ahead and set it with a translucent powder this is the Too Faced Born This Way translucent setting powder so like I said I'm gonna go ahead and set that I am gonna add a couple more bronzing products just to kind of add a little bit of definition like I normally would do but this is what it looks like on its own but yeah I'm gonna go ahead and set my face with powder add a couple more bronzing products and then we can get on to the highlighters and the lip okay so I've gone ahead and added like the extra facial products that I wanted to use which was just like a little bit more of like a bronzer to set that in place powder on my face and a little bit of blusher now we can move on to the highlighter so I got kind of two highlighting products I got my hands on the highlighting duo and this is in mean money and hustler baby and it's literally like a really gorgeous iridescent rose gold so I'm gonna go in with this secondly because I died when I saw this highlighter like it kind of scared me a little bit but I knew I had to get it I'd seen this on people with slightly more tanned skin and darker skin it looked 
stunning. So I wanted to get my hands on it and see if I could find a way for me to wear it. So this one is the highlighter in Trophy Wife. It is a gorgeous yellow gold. I had never seen anything like it. So I definitely wanted to check it out. I have like coordinated my top with it today. So the brush I'm going to be using it to apply it is the Morphe 511 brush, which is a kind of big fluffy brush. And I'm going to place this as like my base highlight. And then I'm going to go in with that duo. So I'm kind of swirling my brush around and tapping off the excess. So as you can see, it is very like yellow. And at first I was a bit like, I can't wear this. Like I'm not gonna be able to get away with it. So I just tapped off a little bit more and now I'm just kind of using the brush to blend it in. And the more you kind of buff it in, the more it blends and it becomes a bit more of a wearable color. They did do a paler shade called Moon Glow, I think, which is part of the collection. But this just gives the most gorgeous, warm yellow undertone, really golden. So Rihanna, like I really love that color. So again, just gonna do it the same on this side and taking it a little bit up on here. So when the sun hits me, I've got that golden glow kind of hitting me all over. Look at that, I just think, Oh, it's so pretty. It's not too like glittery either. Right, I'm just gonna place that Trophy Wife shade on my nose as well. And just on my cupid's bow. Obsessed! But now, like I said, I'm gonna go in with the duo. Now, I do feel like one side is slightly more of a matte highlighter. I know that sounds really weird, but it has definitely just more of like the glow element to it. Whereas this side has more of the shimmer, pop-in highlight side to it. So that's the side that I'm gonna use. So in this particular case, this one is Hustler Baby. I'm gonna take it on a MAC 224. So I'm going to place this like directly on the top so you'll see what that Trophy Wife shade looks like as a base highlighter and then you kind of might see what I mean when I'm going in with a lighter shade on the top. Do you see what I mean? It just kind of makes it slightly more wearable for people that aren't as tanned. But if you like that yellow highlighter look, keep it as it is. Like, I like it, but for me to make it slightly more wearable, I just need to place something on the top. But I don't want to get rid of that undertone. That's what I think everyone is so drawn to, is that gold undertone. It literally reminds me of, like, Sunset, Bahama, Beach, Caribbean. So, like I said, so Rihanna, but I'm just going to be applying a lighter. And this one has a slightly rose gold finish to it which kind of helps work with that yellow shade, I feel. Ah. So that is what the highlighters kind of look like layered on top of each other. And I'm just, I'm obsessed with that combination together. I literally feel like I am glowing. So she didn't come out with lipsticks as such, but she did come out with the Universal Lip Topper. And this is in Fenty Glow. So it's literally kind of like a medium tone nude lip topper. It does have color payoff to it. So I thought I would show you what it looks like on its own. And then on top of a lip combination that I would personally wear. So I have kind of wiped off majority of the foundation. But just kind of gone over with a beauty blender. So I'm just going to show you what it looks like on its own. The applicator is really thick. Which is, applies a really gorgeous like lather. Also smells so yummy like strawberries so that is what it looks like on its own as you can see it's like a really gorgeous peachy shimmery gloss it is advertised as like a universal lip topper so i feel like it's just basically meant to go over any lip color that you want and just kind of add a little bit of warmth a little bit of shimmer a little bit of a good taste in your mouth because it tastes and smells really good you know me i do kind of like a slightly lighter nude so i wanted to see what this looked like over one of my favorite matte lip combinations for a nude that's slightly lighter because i knew this would darken it slightly so i thought i wanted to try that out so i'm gonna go ahead and show you what that looks like okay so i'm gonna go ahead and line my lips with a matte strip down pencil and then i'm gonna go ahead and apply the tarte tartus lip paint in salty which is a really pale matte nude and then i'll be back and then i'll show you what the lip topper looks like on top Okay, so this is kind of more of the nude shade that I normally wear, and it is a matte. And I do always like to go in with the gloss, so I am going to use the Fenty Glow Lip Illuminating Lip Topper again, and just show you what it looks like now on top of a matte lip option. 
So as you can see, it darkened up that nude slightly and gave it a bit more warmth, which I really, really like. And obviously it gave a gorgeous shimmery glow to it. But yeah, that is all the products I have in the collection. So I will show you kind of the finished makeup look. So this is the finished makeup look. I really hope you guys enjoyed this look and my thoughts and my kind of tips throughout this video based on my kind of skin, my kind of skin tone, my skin type, all that kind of stuff. I hope this really helps you if you you guys want to get your hands on the Fenty collection and you think that your skin is like mine kind of a better way to utilize the products and maybe what colors to get as well I know I didn't manage to get my hands on everything everything but I do plan to get my hands on like the powder and I know they had other products as well that I mentioned at the beginning of the video so I will keep you updated with my thoughts but let me know if you guys got your hands on anything from the Fenty collection as well in the comments down below and definitely make sure to give this video a thumbs up if you enjoyed it make sure to hit that subscribe button as well and let me know if there's any other collections that you'd like me to review Review, or if you guys kind of just like these review videos in general because I don't really do them that often so I'll definitely make sure to do so if you guys enjoy them because this was such an anticipated makeup line I definitely wanted to share my thoughts and I know you guys wanted to hear them as well so yeah I really hope you guys enjoyed this video and I will see you in the next one bye guys